when you walk into the room you see the bed and what I'm going to do is put a wardrobe at the back of the room. I'm actually going to separate it with a curtain and then I actually have put my bags up as well. So there was this unusual dent in the wall. Um, you can sort of see in the ceiling there that it kind of stops and kicks in just a little bit. So I thought a great use of space would be to put some bookcases in there. I can display all my bags, which I've been really wanting to do for such a long time. So I'm so glad that there's a space for all of those now. Um, and over the next week, I'm going to put that curtain up and actually separate the bed from um, the wardrobe space. I'm actually going to move the bed forward a little bit too. So there's actually a walkway behind. Right, we're fitting the racks. So that they can go in the back of the room. Got my little helper. <laughs> we've already done one back there and we're going to fit another one there. I'm going to just put all my clothes there and then we're going to start to do the rails which is the most exciting part. We will have to do the curtains along the wall there first so we know our spacing here and I'm going to do sheer curtains on the sides and some opaque ones in the middle. We have a new jiggy. It's a stud finder. Yeah. Right guys, we're doing this curtain first for the windows so that we know how much room we have to do the separating curtain for the wardrobe. Got my little handyman with me. product they look beautiful I love how tall they are and they go right to the ceiling really opens up the space I'm really loving the sheer curtains because I had no privacy whatsoever need to sort out how they're kind of sitting up on the rail there but I will fix that I think they really add something to the space okay now that these curtains are up now we know the distancing here and we can actually do a separating curtain behind the bed to sort of block that wardrobe off. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, it's not complete, but the curtains are up. So, the sheer ones, still got to fix them up the top there. I'm hoping that'll drop in time. But we've got some curtains at the back here, just as a bit of a backdrop. I've realized that there's now no lighting in the wardrobe area, so I'm gonna have to get some lighting because it's a bit dark in there, particularly at night. But basically, 
I've got a sheer curtain. All these curtains are from Ikea, guys. So this is a semi-sheer. I think it's called Hilda or Hilta or something like that. Then we've got this gorgeous herringbone curtain. I'm absolutely in love with these. They're not um, block out or thermal, which is why I think they're placed really well here because it's not covering a curtain, it's just for a separator. Sorry, covering a window. Um, and then you sort of peer in here and we've just got a couple of racks, which, you know, still got to do something about. This is, um, I'm hoping to do a built-in when the time comes. I'm just sort of testing out this layout at the moment. There you have it, guys. I hope you like. I should show you these curtains. These ones are beautiful. These are like um, a linen type of a curtain and they're less sheer than those ones on the sides. So, but they have really great texture and these gray ones also have really beautiful texture. Can you see? There we go. You can sort of see up close, they're really quite thick and luxurious and quite heavy. Um, so they fall really nicely and drape in that beautiful curve way. Whereas sometimes the sheerer ones don't drape as nicely. But my first time doing these sorts of curtains, the ceiling ones, they really open up the room. We did block it a little bit by putting this there, but it's sort of a necessary evil a little bit. And then I forgot to show you, um, this chaise is actually from my old studio, so we didn't have a place to put it, which is why it's dumped here. But then we've got a couple of shelves with my bags. If you follow my channel, you know I'm a big handbag lover, and that's my collection there. Well guys, it has been a very long day. It's now dark outside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it um, wasn't as long and tiresome as our day was. Um, and I hope you got something out of it. I hope that you're, if you're looking at curtains like this that you'll consider them because I think they're actually really good quality. So, for the fact that they're from Ikea. So budget conscious room makeover. Well guys, I really hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be doing way more videos on my house in the future because I'll be um, organizing each space and creating beautiful little spaces within spaces. Um, it is a bit of a passion of mine. So if you wanna come along for the journey, be sure to subscribe. I also do videos on wedding dresses and fashion, etc. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.